How excited you are about the future and the potential of that team? And what did you notice about your role and your growth on your role this season? Um, and I'm excited. I, mean, I think that everybody can see that the potential we have there. And, um, you know, I'm looking forward to grow with this team and continue to get better. And, um, you know, I think that we made a lot of progress and we made when we took steps in the right direction to where we need to be at. And what we're trying and where we're trying to be at. And I think that we're going to continue to do that, especially with the guys we got and the work ethic we have here and um, just the organization we have. And I think that, you know, everybody's excited to do that. Sam. Hey, Cody, I hope you're doing well. Uh, thanks for joining us. Where would you say you grew the most as a basketball player this year? I know given it was a very weird year and how much motivation is there for this team, just the way you guys ended the season, then you as well. I know you did not necessarily finish the way you wanted to, having to sit out those last, I don't know, whatever it was, seven games or so. Yeah. I mean, I think for me, I think not even just for me, but I think for a lot of people this year, it was uh, mental uh, more than anything. And growing in that uh, in that aspect, I think you know we on the court. You know, this was a, a weird year for me in terms of adjusting my game because last year uh, I think I did a little bit more stuff on ball and came off ball screens or down pins, whatever the case was. But I think um, you know adding new pieces and things like that that are um, very important pieces to our team. It was a, it was about adjusting my game and doing whatever I could to help impact our team in a positive way to help us win and. Um, you know, I think for me, more than anything this year, it was mental and figure out a way to, to adjust my game on the fly. And I'm going to continue to do that to make sure that I'm helping my team and I'm growing as an individual player as well. And, um, you know, I'm just looking forward to be able to do that, uh, to continue to do that and continue to improve as a player. Thank you. Let's go to Rod and then. Hey, uh, Cody, man, just first, uh, I guess, can you just walk us through your injury a little bit there, man? Just just what happened there and just how are you feeling? And I guess how close are you to like coming back if you guys are still playing right now? Uh, yeah, I mean, I just kind of, you know, I, I rolled it when we played Portland. Uh, you know, I tried to make sure that I didn't, but it just that's how it turned out. And, you know, ended up being a little bit worse than I thought it was going to be. And I thought I was going to be able to come back and maybe like, a week and a half, two weeks, whatever the case was. But, um, you know, I've been working on it nonstop. I come in every morning to get it worked on. And I do stuff when I'm not at the arena to, to make sure that I'm helping myself uh, get back as quick as possible. And um, I think I'm I'm getting there to where I'm able to get on the court and start doing uh, more things and, and load on, on that ankle more. And, um, but I'm going to continue to work on that. I don't really have like a timetable, but maybe – you know, maybe like another week to where I'm able to get out there and start doing maybe like some live stuff or whatever the case is. But, you know, I'm I'm, I'm doing everything in my power and I'm working with our staff nonstop and they're doing a great job with, with getting me back out there as quick as possible. And then you also mentioned off season for you. I mean, your, your jump shot, how much are you going to kind of work on that? Your three point game to kind of help become, I guess, all around player out there on offense. Yeah, every day, you know, uh, I think, you know, this this year for me was the first time that I was in a position to where, uh, you know, I was kind of just trying to find a way to be impactful out of the corners and and, and essentially running, run into the corners. And um, that's where I would spend majority of the time in terms of being able to affect the game. And um, that's what I'm going to have to work on and, um you know, continue to build off that and continue to build off what we did this year and understanding where my spots are going to be and where I'll probably have the ball majority of the time. And I'm going to continue to grow in those areas and still work on other areas of my game. But, you know, I'm going to put a lot of a lot of time in those situations so that, you know, when I'm in them, I'm more comfortable and, and I'm more confident in those situations. Go to Will. Cody, uh just kind of hearing from what a lot of people on the outside kind of say about you and your brother, a lot of you, a lot of people kind of think of you guys as interchangeable, but I know it's a lot more nuanced than that. What do you feel like distinguishes your game from, uh, from Caleb? Well, I think that, you know, people who think that we're interchangeable don't know us and don't, don't watch the game. Um, and, and to me that they don't, they can't tell the difference that there, there's a difference between our games. Um, you know, 
like we said before, Caleb can score the ball, and Caleb's confident, especially on the offensive end, and he's become a well, a, a really improved defensive player too. And we both play with a lot of energy, and we compete every night. We go out there, and um, you know we're unselfish basketball players, and we understand that that you have to make sacrifices for your team um, to be successful, and not everybody can do everything you know so you have to to know your job and what you're out there to do and and make sure that you're doing that to a t to help put your team in a position to win win the game every night and you know for me i'm obviously more defensive monitor i know that i I enjoy playing defense and that's my neck and i'm going to continue to grow in that area and do that as well as my offensive game and you know once i continue to improve that and i get more confident and more comfortable on the three-point line and like I said, I work on those situations where I'm going to be in the corners uh, a lot and get comfortable there and I knock it down consistently. Uh, it's just going to make not only myself better, but our team better. So. Go to Steve and Ryan. Hey, Cody. Obviously, you know, uh, LaMelo's probably up for, you know, rookie of the year. Certainly one of the. Uh, favorites, I guess, to win it. But um, Good winner. I wonder if you could you could talk about what you thought of him when you first saw him play, when he was coming in, I mean, you didn't have the training camp or anything like that. Yeah. And his progression through the season, um, what kind of jumped out at you right away? And um, also, can you share with us any kind of funny stories about him that kind of give us a little insight uh, since we, we haven't really been in the locker room this year to kind of get to know him as well? well what, what type of person he is and maybe some funny stories that you got of him? I mean, I think for me with him is – is that man when when he first got here? Obviously, he's got a lot of energy. He's young, and uh, but he's he, it's impressive what not only him but the other young guys have done to to be able to come in and and not have a summer league and not really have opportunities to to kind of build up and and step into the game like that. They kind of just went into it on the fly and kind of got through in the fire and the way they handled that at their age and at how young he is is impressive. You know, a lot of people can't. A lot of people can't do that, you know, and, and for him to be able to do that and play the way he did and make it to where we made it, it's, it's a lot of credit to him and, you know, his work ethic and his, you know, his potential and all that, you know. So, um, you know, I, I just think that he's going to continue to get better and better and better. And I think, you know, everybody knows that. And, you know, he's, he's, he's exactly what we needed and, and that spark that we needed and his energy and just like his, his you know, everything about him, that's what we needed. So, um, and he's going to continue to get better. He wants to win. He's hungry. And I don't know, I'm just, I was just impressed of how he handled that, that situation and how he just got through in the fire and the way he handled it. And obviously the coaching staff and, you know, the older guys helped, helped with that stuff. But, you know, at the end of the day, you got, he's got to go out there and perform and he did. And, He's going to continue to do that. And, you know, I'm looking forward to continue to build um, off that with our season from this for this past season. Let's just go to wrap up with Danny. Cody, Danny Thompson with the three point conversion. Uh, one of the things that JB has mentioned all season long is the ability for you to pick up and guard some of the best defenders in the league as you grow and your game has grown. How much confidence that gives you when you know coach is putting you on the on the floor with the game on the line, guarding some of the best players in the world? Yeah, I mean, that, it, it, you know, that gives me a lot of com- confidence to go out there and and just play my game. And I know that's my game and, and I know that's what I enjoy doing. And, you know, I, I enjoy having that challenge to be able to go out there and guard the best players in this league. And, um, you know, I'm going to continue to do that and work on my game and work on my body to be able to to do that every night and find ways to be able to uh, challenge those guys because, you know, those are tough covers and, you know, you, you got to do your best and study and do everything in your power to make sure that um, you challenge them as much as you can to help us, you know, put us in a situation to win games. So I don't know, that gives, that gives me a lot of confidence, especially being on the court at the end of the game. It says a lot. Um, it says a lot about, where they see me, it says a lot about the confidence they have and the trust they have in me to be there at the end of the game. So, you know, I just got to continue to do that and, and bring that to our team and bring that for myself to be able to, to help our team win.